Hi guys, welcome to my video. Rapunzel here. <laughs> Not really. I'm wearing pink because this is the only pink shirt I can find really quickly and I put my hair in a semi braid because my hair actually looking a little a little funky. I washed my hair and then I just let it dry um, naturally when I went to bed, woke up with a headache and then my hair was super curly and frizzy so a braid was the best way to keep it contained and the bottoms are like starting to fray. I really need to cut my hair again. At any rate, I have mail today. So this is a mail video that focuses on my most recent purchases from Shop Disney, from online because my local stores are not open. I know that a couple locations in some parts of the country are open at this point in terms of box lunch and Disney store announced that they were gonna be opening a couple of different locations. None in my area are open at this point. So it is still just online shopping for me and I have to pay that dreaded shipping cost and I hate it. But I wanted to share my stuff with you anyway and have some online shopping that's going to be my haul today. And I also have a grail pin that I need to share with you guys as well. So there are going to be uh, four different locations shown in this video and I can't wait to show all of this with you. So please keep on watching and let's get into it. Okay, so let me start with my Shop Disney purchase, which is hilarious. This is how the box arrived. See this big box? I was like, this is super light. What is this? Because I ordered a lot of items from Shop Disney recently. This was not it. This came on top, and you have like this little um, bubble thing. It's not really bubble wrap, it's just like a bubble coverage. And then underneath that, my pins arrived in this little bag. I have been hearing horror stories about how these pins have been handled, and mine aren't any better because look at how these are. They are literally facing each other in the bag. It's not like they put back to back. No, these are facing each other, which means they could easily scratch each other. I'm not happy with this at all. Shop Disney, you kind of failed me. I'm a little annoyed that you couldn't just put it in a bubble wrap envelope, which you have done in the past. And this is how you treated my pins. This is all scuffed. Look at that, it is scuffed. It looks like it was chewed by a dog. It's scratched on the actual card. And for a limited edition pin, which are considered more valuable, they shouldn't be doing that, but I'm gonna show you my pins anyway. That is my side gripe. Ugh, Shop Disney, you failed me on that. This is the limited edition Father's Day pin, which arrived in time for Father's Day, so that's cool. It was $18 online, and then you have to pay $6 shipping, so annoying. Um, but this is Belle and her father, Maurice, and they are standing in front of his little um, shop, his little uh, invention behind him. And it's kind of cool because there's also like this like brick lay inlay in the back, and it says Father's Day 2020, so it's a dated pin. I didn't have any Father's Day pins. I only have my Mother's Day pin from last year with Mulan on it. So I thought that'd be a really cool pin to include. Even though I'm not the biggest Bee and the Beast collector, I do have a small Bee and the Beast collection. And I think that this is really cute with her and her father in it. So that is why I grabbed that one. And then my other pin that I got from Disney recently is one that says Living My Best Life and has the castle. This is an open edition pin. So the retail value is silver, which is $10 in the parks. And of course, all parks items right now are strictly online. So this is a new pin that I would have gotten in the parks if I eventually went, but it just says Living My Best Life has the castle. Thought that would be cute because I love castle pins. So this one I thought was really cute to get online as well. So that's what arrived in this big old box. I don't really know why Disney did that, but but there you go. Okay, here's my Shop Disney box. I love how nice and crisp this Disney tissue paper is. Never gets old. It's been a while since I ordered because Shop Disney is taking a really long time with their deliveries now, so I forgot what I ordered. It appears I have a pajama set with all the animator characters on it. So cute. Oh my gosh. I literally, literally forgot what I ordered, but here you go. I have a pajama set. I got it in a size large, and I can see Moana and Sleeping Beauty. And there is Pocahontas and Flowers and Tinkerbell. So it looks like just like all the new animator doll pins except it's on this pajama set, and it is a two pajama set, so it came with shorts and this top, so really cute. I think I actually wanted the smaller size, and it sold out online, so I decided why not go for a bigger size, and hopefully I don't regret that decision, but very cute. And I have my pins. I was waiting for this for a while. This is the only Minnie Mouse main attraction pins that I have ordered to date. I wanted to get the March ones. They sold out online. I knew starting with the April ones, Disney had announced that for the time being, they would only be released online and not in stores. So I had to get up early to get these. And I tried for an hour and 20 minutes, I think, before they allowed me through. It was mayhem. But it was all worth it because this is pretty. And thankfully, my pins are not damaged. I heard from a lot of people online that they got scuffed up pins, but these appear to be in good shape. So, phew, thank goodness. So pin four of 12. 
I really like the ear one and the Minnie Mouse one and then it's just a small world little smiley face this is just such a pretty collection and I love having this in person so cute definitely well done my last item is an ornament I totally forgot I ordered this it's so funny how you just don't even know what you order half the time let's go ahead it's double-sided it arrived in bubble wrap to keep it safe thankfully you guys know I love my parks pins and um, ornaments I'm a really big ornament collector and I can't go to the parks right now so with the parks closed I went online and went through their park section and found this ornament. It says Walt Disney World, you've got the castle front and center. I love that all the attractions are here from Walt Disney World. Like there's Hollywood Studios right there, Tower of Terror prominent. There's a roller coaster. There is over here Adventureland and whatnot. Things are from Magic Kingdom. On this side, you've got the train. So cute. I see Splash Mountain. Then over here, you have Animal Kingdom. And it's got the Tree of Life right front and center, all the animals. And then finally, all the way on the left, you have Epcot. So I wonder if this actually mirrors the actual map of Walt Disney World. I'm geographically challenged, so I'd have to look in the actual map to make sure my husband would know in an instant. But I love that. Well, I love Space Mountain right there, by the way. But I love the, um, the ball being in purple and gray and the pavilions. This is just stunning. So this is just one side of this ornament. And then you turn it around. And I believe it's the same design. Yeah, it's the same design, but in like a nighttime effect. So this is like a navy blue. So it stands out a little bit more. So I love that this is double-sided. You get all the shades of Walt Disney World, depending on what side you want on the ornament on the tree. And got this nice gold ribbon. So pretty. So excited I got this. And this was an $18 ornament. So it's funny, this says $16.99. My pricing sheet says $17.99, so now I'm going to have to double check and see what they charged me because if I got charged a dollar more than the actual item is priced, I'm going to have to point that out to Shop Disney and be like, hey, guys, where's my extra dollar? But love it. That was an ordeal. Okay, let's go to my pins. Yay! This one's a fail. I ordered this fabric. Um, it looked a lot smaller in the print preview. You can see it's like a pillow size, so this fabric is not going to work. I was originally thinking I was going to use this to make ears out of. It um, would be great if I had a Cricut machine and it could shrink this down. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with this now, but oh well. Land and Tramp fabric is cute. I just can't use it to make ears. It's just way too big. So that was a fail. Other than that, I have two trades. And this one I just took out of the package. You can see it came with all these cute little Mickey Mouse stickers. That's adorable. Um, ooh. This fun Olaf stationery. That's cool. I've never seen this before. It says thanks for the trade. I also got a cute, oh my gosh, Lion King postcard. This would be great with my Lion King collection. I love the hyenas. They're so funny. Uh, my favorite character from the original movie, by the way, is Whoopi Goldberg as the hyena. I just think that she's hilarious. So this is definitely a cool scene. Then you can see there is Simba trying to scurry away. This is an awesome postcard. Wow. Lion King 1994. Love it. And then the actual pin that we traded for, um, that I traded for, is this Ursula comic. That's awesome. That's right. I did give her one of my extra Mulan combs. So now I'm all out of duplicate combs, but I got this cool Ursula comic pin, which I didn't already have. It's time Ursula took matters into her own tentacles, which will go great with my Little Mermaid collection. This one came with a cute little card. <laughs> And there is Luke Skywalker on there. I love that it says Christina with an exclamation mark. This says, crush the resistance. May the force be with you. This is a cute sparkly sticker. Um, and then I also have a card from her. Hi, Christina. Thanks so much for the fun trade. I hope you enjoy your new pen. Stay safe and healthy. Thank you, Rachel. I love the touch that she put onto this card. Look at all the Star Wars stickers. And then she wrapped hers up in a napkin um, paper towel. That's kind of funny because it's like paper towel on top of the bubble wrap. Ooh, this is actually a pin that I originally had and I traded it away to get the Little Mermaid dress from this collection. And then I just traded back for it because I did think this was really pretty. I like the glitter all over it. It's very sparkly. And this is Rapunzel because in the very center of this pin, you guys can see, it has a little replica of the sun that she is known for from the movie Tangled. So... I had this pin. This is another example of one that I had and just had to get back. Um, I don't really have a Rapunzel collection, but I know this is actually a really cute pin, so I wanted to add it to my dresses collection. And I recently traded for this. This is one of those pins that came out during the holidays. It does say 10th anniversary of the Contemporary Resort. You can see it's all Christmas or It's got holly and berries all over it. And when you open this up, it reveals the fairy godmother in front of a gingerbread house. So it's cute because it's like the gingerbread display at Christmas time at the Contemporary Resort. 
And since I have seen this in person, I thought it'd be a fun pin to add to my collection. Kind of cute. I do like the little uh, logo of the resort there on front. And then with this trade, I also got a second pin, and it was the Ariel Ralph Breaks the Internet. Ralph Breaks the Internet pin, and you can see that Ariel is wearing her modern day clothing, although she's still perched as if she's like part of your world on a pillow, not on a rock. And then there is little Vanellope down there on the bottom. So a cute pin. <laughs> that was kind of from that universe and that was be adorable and I said why not let's add that to the trade. From online I was able to trade for the very last pin that I needed from that Mulan box lunch set so I am now a completist thanks to this now purchase. I have Mulan holding a sword. She looks very fierce with her hair flowing out and this was the last one I needed from that collection so I am now complete. Yay my first ever pin collection I've ever fully completed. Very excited about that. Living in quarantine times this just came via the curbside pickup. It is a photo fabric, photo fabric that I just picked up from Joann's and my friend told me about this. You can actually print on fabric um, just using your printer and that is what I'm going to be using for Lady and the Tramp ears, custom ears. Stay tuned for that. I can't wait to make my own fabric using this so this is awesome. Took a couple of days, maybe a week before they were able to have this ready for me, but I'm very excited for this from Joann's. This one is actually from Brittany, um, and she is in Winter Garden, Florida. We had traded previously, and this was our second trade via the Facebook group. Oh my gosh, look at all the goodies that are inside. So she gave me a lot. I can see I have an I'm celebrating button. So sweet from Walt Disney World. I love these things. There's the pin itself, so I'll get to that in a second. Let me put that down. But I also have this card, a Hallmark card. Oh, it's a thank you card. And it says, Christina, thanks so much for the trade. I hope you this arrived safely. Have a great day. And let's trade again. Definitely, Brittany. Thanks so much. I love this card. Very pretty. And then I also got a Magic Kingdom map. Woot woot. So that's awesome. I got that. And then she also sent me this fun sticker with the Kokomora figures from Moana. Always cute. And then she also gave me this set of Riviera stickers, also nice, from the new Riviera Resort. I do already have this from another person, but these are going to be fun to include in Magic Mail, so I love these, especially the one with the Skyliner and Beauty and the Beast. And then for the pin that I traded for, you guys can see, is the I Collect Princesses pin that was released recently on Shop Disney Online. I don't know about you guys, but I have had a nightmare trying to get anything from those online releases. So I missed out on this pin as well as the two other recent Ariel cereal box pin. If anyone has that, let me know. But rather than pay for it online, this was going for like $35 or whatnot, we just collect, we just traded for it. So that was cool. Oh my gosh, there's a second pin on here. I forgot about that. Awesome. But that's the pin that I traded for. It says I collect princess pins. And then it's got like a nice case, just like my figment pin when you open it up. It has all the different icons. Um, this is a mermaid sticker that I actually have, or mermaid pin, I should say. And you've got like different emblems. You get a glass slipper. It says love. You've got Belle's face, um, destined for greatness, etc. So I love that it has all these fun like princess icons. And since I do have a number of princess collections, I said I definitely need this pin. So that is awesome that she gave me that one. You can see that she also gave me this Beauty and the Beast castle, which I didn't already have. So that is awesome as well. So a fun trade from Brittany. Appreciate that we were able to do that. And yay! And here goes my very last pin package. This is actually something that I bid for online on eBay and was able to get it um, by going a little bit over what I wanted, but my husband gave me the advice. He's like, bid the most that you'd be willing to pay for it, and um, if someone bids lower than you, it'll go down. So I think I bid $11, got this for 9 and change, and it is the same pin that I showed my Mulan pin collection recently. I traded for this, I bid for this because I knew that this was probably a fake, but the one that I have is definitely the same type of fake, and I wanted to pay $9 for my fake versus what I paid for the whole set, which is why I'm returning the ones I got before, but there you go. Now I have a fake that I probably know it's a fake, but I'm happy with it because I didn't pay a lot of money. I paid $9 total with shipping, so not a bad deal. Um, this one actually feels pretty sharp, I'm not mistaken, but there you go. So it's pin one of three, limited edition of 500 of these made. You can see it looks pretty realistic, but there's just so many of these being sold right now from China that you know they're probably fake. And I think the real one is maybe a little bit grayer. If not, then I got an original for a great price. Either way, I was happy to get this pin, and now I can return the other one without feeling so bad because I was able to get this one at a great deal. And this is a Park Pack Mulan pin with her father. Yay! And there's both pins side by side. This is the one I just got um, in my right hand, and in my left hand is the original one that I have. So. They both look very, very similar, um, pretty realistic looking fakes, but I know that they probably are fakes, and this is what I'm keeping, this is what I'm returning. Do, 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 do.
Moving on to pin mail, this arrived and this includes some pins from the UK. Can't wait to see what's inside. It's from a seller that I have ordered many times, Who's It and What's It pins. And this is one of the pins I ordered from her. It is a father's love pin featuring none other than King Triton and Ariel in an embrace. A perfect Father's Day pin, actually. I just thought about that. But I think this is so cute with the vines everywhere and Ariel in her wedding dress. It just looks really, really pretty. And I ordered this one from online. It's kind of jumbo, if you guys can see that. So a nice pin from a fantasy pin maker. And that's what it looks like on the back. It says WW Pins, LE 35. Only 35 of these made. And the other pin that I ordered from her is this one I was waiting for. She came out with this like different collection and it all, if you put them together, creates this one large shape. I only ordered the Ursula pin where she is capturing Ariel's voice kind of a sinister pin, kind of cute, and I just thought it was really fun. So because it has Ursula in that signature pose of capturing Ariel's voice, she's like, now sing! One of my favorite moments from that movie, I had to get this pin. I also traded with Walt Life Soft Life, and they sent me this pin. It is a Halloween party pin that I didn't already have. I really like limited release pins from the Magic Kingdom Halloween party because I just think it's a really fun event, and I did get a chance to go back in 2018. This pin is actually from 2019. Yeah, 2019. So it wasn't the year that I went, but it still commemorates a fun Halloween event. And since I wasn't able to get any pins from the year I did go, they were all sold out. I figured why not grab this one with McGee Mini in their witch and Halloween form with the pumpkins everywhere. It's just a really cute pin. So thanks guys for sending this to me. I really appreciate that. This one came from Britt. The final thing I wanted to share with you is something I was really excited. I actually squealed and I was like, yeah! when this arrived because I've been waiting for this for a little bit. This actually came from the UK and so it took a while. It took about 22 days to arrive um, and enter my possession. This I pre-ordered back in April. It was supposed to be available come April 25th but with the virus things got delayed so everyone got delayed on their shipments and I'm so glad I pre-ordered this because Disney Pins Blog just posted yesterday that he finally got his shipment and he posted on his website at like I don't know, probably 9 o'clock a.m. his time, which would have been 6 a.m. my time. By the time I woke up and went online, apparently they were all sold out. So I would have completely missed out had I waited for it to come to the U.S. I pre-ordered it from the U.K. because it was one of the only dealers that I saw online that had access to these pins already. And I was like, I'm not going to chance it. The price is really good. And I know that uh, Crack and Trade is currently selling these, but I think they're $40. Or they were $35, excuse me, from Crack and Trade. And I think Disney Pins Blog's price was $40. I think I paid $25 per pin. So I got a really good price. And I also got a guarantee of landing these pins for myself. And I'm super excited because these took a while. Let me share the pins with you. These are Artland pins. So what used to be Acme, um, they had their official license with Disney has now been transferred to Artland. And Artland is based in the UK. Their only um, retailer's official are Pulse Gallery, which is based in the UK. It is a art gallery that happens to have a dealership with them that they release these pins. And then select retailers will get access to these pins as well. So they're really hard to come by. The LE size is really small, only a limited edition of 250 each. And I grabbed it. Pocahontas was also released. And I think they only had 200 of those or 150. She had a smaller LE size than all the other ones. But I only ordered Ariel and Rapunzel. And these are cute. Um, okay, I'm moving around because there's a little fuzz on Ariel's face. And I was like, is that scuff mark? And no, it's not. Thank goodness. Both of these are a little bent in terms of the, um, the backer cards not being fully straight. So that's my only... I just wish my pin mail lately was not arriving so bent, but I do like this pin. This is the Jasmine one. So you can see Jasmine with her little face with <laughs> little Abu next to her. These remind me a lot of the princess pins that were released from the Disney um, Employee Center last year that were all the rage that sold for a lot of money. And that's why I kind of wanted to get these because these poses were very similar to that. But this one is different. Um, this is like the same pin as that one. So it's Jasmine with a boo and it's kind of like a screen print on her with a little glittery element on her dress and you can see that a boo has a nice ruby on his tail it's an adorable little print and that is pin number one and um the second pin i'm going to take out of the packaging is the ariel pin apparently ariel is sold out worldwide so so happy i pre-ordered this and this is different from the previous uh, DEC pins that came out. Her pose is not the same. Some of them were the same, but not hers. And you can see Flounder is on her face, and she's just like, <sighs> and it's so cool. So I really do like this pin a lot, and I love the coloring. 
me go ahead and take this off so I can see what the back says. And you got a certificate of authenticity, limited edition collectible pin, only 250 pieces of these were made from Artland. And the back says this was pin 25. So I got the 25th aerial of 250 was sent to me. So that's pretty cool. That just shows you how early on I ordered this baby. I was really excited. The second I saw this was like being released, I went to their site and I wasn't playing around. I was like, I am landing this pin one way or the other without paying thousands of dollars for this in the future. I want to just be able to get this now. So that's pin number one. Jasmine, I was actually 86. I was pin 86 of 250 and that's what the back looks like. So you can see they're kind of similar to what the acne pins look like on the back with this little like stamp pattern. And then this is the front. So these are official licensed pins from Disney. You could potentially trade this in the parks if you so chose to because they do say copyright Disney. However, you don't want to trade these pins. I mean, these are like valuable. You want to trade this with other top end pin collectors if you so choose. But those are the two pins. Look how stunning and detailed these are. Usually when I show pins on my channel, they don't even pick up the focus that matter. I have to like refilm later, but this is just drawing your attention. And I do like that the waves are kind of drawn into Ariel's hair with the white effect there. And you can see like the sketch pattern on Jasmine as well. So very cool and artistic. And that was my mail video. So if you guys enjoyed my mail, my touch of mail look today and so excited to share this with you guys. Definitely let me know what your favorite item was in the comments below. I am really happy about those pins and a whole number of other things I can't even tell you, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I didn't know what I was gonna include at the beginning, so I just threw like things here and there. And this is my style this, these days, I guess. <laughs> so hope you guys are taking care and I will talk to you soon in the next video. All right, bye.